Hello. Hello. Um, I'm Imogen Heap, and this is the beginning of uh, the studio um, being built. I just moved all my gear in here about two weeks ago, and um, I'm basically with friends piecing it all together. Justine is behind the camera, and she'll be behind the camera for um, a good long time now. Um, and so we keep going to come back here to this space um, every so often, every couple of weeks or every week, um, and uh, yeah, just uh, give me, you, whoever, whatever is watching, an update of what's been going on. Um, so at the moment, uh, as you can see, it's not looking particularly exciting in here. Um, this is the old playroom. This is where we used to be as kids and we were running around on um, big long red cushions and making tunnels and things. And uh, there was a table tennis table in here until very recently. And me and uh, Jessie had just lugged it up to the, um, the building down the bottom of the road. And um, yeah, I've just been sticking bits of sticky tape all over the floor, um, trying to get together a, uh, um, a plan of action. And with sorts of kind of crosses on the walls and things hanging from the ceiling of um, where I think it's all going to be. And I'm basically probably doing it all the wrong, wrong way around, but um, I just want to get started. And um, I have this kind of dream that uh, maybe it'll be done by the end of July. It's very unlikely. Um, so there's all kinds of things in this house. This is where I grew up. And um, I kind of lived here full time until I was about 12 and then I went to boarding school and um, wrote lots of songs about boyfriends and things. And um, this snake is uh, from our first kind of uh, April Fool's Day that I remember. Yes. And um, my dad and my brother thought they'd pull this trick on the girls, me, my sister and my mum, and uh, started shrieking uh, really early in the morning at us all, um, saying, snake, there's a snake in the garden. And we were all like, oh my God, there's a snake in the garden. We ran downstairs and we went onto the balcony, there's a balcony just by the, where the sitting room will be, um, and uh, this was outside um, in the grass, and because it looks so realistic, as you can see, um, we thought it was real, uh, but of course it was just a wooden snake with a dodgy tail. Um, so there's lots of things, little memories hiding behind corners and underneath chairs and in fireplaces and... Um, just keep pulling them out every now and then and just can't quite believe that I'm coming back to this space. Um, I'm really looking forward to making the album here. I think it's going to be very inspiring in lots of different ways. And also being able to use the piano. I grew up playing this piano upstairs directly above here. Um, a lovely Steinway and um, so I'm going to look forward to playing for hours and hours on that again as I did when I was a kid. And um, just get the house just really happy again and try and try and bring it back to life because I feel like it's been a little bit sad for a while and um, so I'm going to bring music and art there's I have an artist in residence who's going to be here she's called Lucy and she's coming in August and um, she's going to uh, live here and do her artwork in the dairy the old dairy um, and clean that out for herself and then upstairs uh, in the old oriental room we used to call it um, she's just going to have a little space there for her bedroom and her ensuite bathroom and, um, and she's going to live here and um, hopefully we'll get along, I'm sure we will. And she's going to kind of clean the house as well um, when she's not painting and do a bit of gardening and go and fetch groceries and things. So I feel like a right lady of the manor, um, I've got a um, live-in housekeeper, stroke artist in residence and um, I'm going to be down here noodling away uh, in front of this, which is going to be where um, you know the main control centre, the nerve centre, will be of the uh, the studio. And I'm probably just going to spend hours noodling about, staring at a big screen like I did for the last one. But this time I'll be in a nicer environment, so slowly moving up in the world. Um, so I thought I'd introduce you to the space, and um, so you can see how it's going to evolve. And, um, there's been a lot of people through the big doors of this house in the last couple of weeks. If I can try and remember everyone's names, well mainly we've had Jessie here. Jessie's been helping me out every day, um, helping me move furniture up and down and get my clothes in here and you know drive me about a bit because I haven't got my licence yet, but I will in the course of this DVD, um, I'll get my licence. Um, so we've been um, 
we've had plasters in, which is Glenn's plaster. Um, we've had various different painters in. We've got Adrian who's painting Paul, who's painting James, who's painting upstairs right now, who's also a very good musician. Um, and then we've got Justine, who's doing all the camera work um, and directing. And then we have um, Martha, who's helping every now and then um, when she can. And uh, basically, the last couple of weeks, what I've achieved is getting all the people involved involved and finding the right people, which is very important because you're going to have to be around them for quite a long time. And I want nice people working on this house, not horrible people. Um, so I have a, yeah, a good, really good group of people. And I haven't actually started any work really yet, um, but I'm confident that we're all going to pull it together. And Levi, I have got to tell you about Levi. Levi is going to be here probably once a week and he's going to help me um, do really boring things that I don't really want to do anymore. Like, if my computer is not speaking to another piece of gear, instead of me spending six hours trying to figure it out, Levi's going to do it for me now. Um, so if I have a problem one evening, I know that Levi's going to come down in three days or whenever he can to come and fix that problem within the week. So now I can get on with other things and not have to worry about it. Because before, on my last album, I'd have to, uh, I would have to sort that out myself, and that was six hours that I couldn't be songwriting. So, um, so that's really good. That's really, really good. But apart from that, um, I'm pretty much going to be doing it on my own again. Um, I, you know, I like doing it that way. Um, and there'll be some other projects along the way as well. Um, but basically, I've just set it up for these last couple of weeks. Set up who's going to be working on it and when they're going to be working. Um, and also Paul. I've got Paul. Paul's a carpenter, and he's going to be building some uh, some units spaces and CD shelves and things and there's lots of other things to talk about but I think that'll do 